Where's Joffrey? Some people call her crazy. Others say she is courageous. One of Uganda's leading businesswomen took her business to the formal rebel area in northern Uganda. Now Victoria Seeds is a rapidly growing company, gaining market share and helping farmers to start a sustainable business. Definitely that's why we are in northern Uganda because most of the farmers here, if not all, are communities that were displaced and they are now returning, they are being resettled. So they really need uh, food security and seed is a starting point. So we are proud to be able to support them in restoring their agricultural livelihood. By producing high quality seeds and training local farmers, Josephine Ockert has received many international awards. But starting up her own business wasn't easy. It was very challenging. As you are well aware, all banks all over Africa see agricultural investment as high risk. They actually don't want us at all. So it was uh, tough getting started. So I got stuck, I got frustrated, then I went to a USAID program, the Agriculture Productivity Enhancement Program, and they were able to guarantee the bank that if I didn't perform, they are willing to take that risk. So it's good that uh, such a project was there. So after that, the bank could really provide trade finance and we got started and later work with, uh, worked with other financial partners to, to grow the business. Josephine Ockert takes us to what she calls the middle of nowhere to meet a group of mainly female farmers. On the way, we see the reminders of the violent period that came to an end just a few years ago. They were living in camps, they were depending on handouts from World Food Programme because it was very risky to venture out of the camps. If the rebels come across you, it was a crime actually to be, to, to be found producing crops because it means you are supporting the economy. So they had some small, small plots, maybe closer to the, to the camp, but there is, they really were dependent nearly 99% on food aid for their livelihood. Now what is very important, now like this field here, I've already told you this field is not what? Ready. Mm -hmm. eh? We have your two feet. Victoria Seeds has done its best. They have no knowledge, they don't know how the benefits of improved seeds, so we have to start from scratch. Train them, then demonstrate how you know, the, the, the difference between improved seed and then home safe seed and also promote awareness, perhaps through the media and through other forests to help them appreciate it and then get agro dealers in places like this one where they can walk to a shop and pick the quality seed and they don't have to like go 40 kilometers to Gulu town. As Victoria Seeds, we believe a business can only thrive where society thrives. So we can only survive, of course, when we make profits, but I also believe we should always try and build or grow the society. 